Adobe Premiere Pro has released the beta of its speech to text feature. So you do have to be a Creative Cloud subscriber to use this and you need to go to their site and submit a request to get access to it. So this is, I would imagine, pretty similar to how it's going to work when they release it fully. But uh, since I have access to it, let's give it a try and see how it works. So once again, you need to go to the website and request access to it in order to get it. Once you do, do this to use the speech to text. I've got this video here. This is just me talking to the camera and it's about COVID safety on a film set. So I think this would make a pretty good blog. You can use this to do that. Or if you want to do captions and you don't want to have to retype everything you said, this will also work for doing captions. Okay, since this is a caption feature, in order to do this, we can go Captions. And once you have the text-to-speech feature, you'll see you've got this right here, Text, Transcribe Sequence, or Create New Caption Track, Import Captions from File. Well, we want Transcribe Sequence. Hit that. Now, I've got multiple audio tracks here. The one I want is A2. That's actually me speaking, and that's where I want it to pull the text from. The bottom track is, an, is a music file, and the top track is an original audio one. So audio on tracks, I'm going to pick audio 2. I think by default it actually does this. I don't want that. I want audio on track 2. English, that's my language. And I'm just going to leave everything else at the default, and I'm going to hit transcribe. So this is all being done through Adobe AI. And so this is speaking to their servers, as you can see here. And it's going to take five minutes to transcribe this video, which is a 10 minute long video. So it's going to take a bit. I'm going to pause the video here. We'll come back when it's done and we're done. And I should add that definitely took longer than five minutes, but I'd say overall, it actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to test this just a little bit. Today, I'd like to talk to you about COVID. Insert dramatic pause, safety on set. I'm pretty damn good, right? So um, from here, what I can do is I can hit create captions and it'll actually generate captions that will go into my video. So I'm gonna choose CA708. I have a separate video on doing captions, by the way, if you wanna know what these formats mean. And let's go, okay. That didn't take too long. And look what we've got here. We've got our caption sequences. Safety on set. I know you're tired of hearing the word COVID or pretty good. And of course, now that we've got the captions in here, I can edit them if I need to. I can move them around if I want to relocate where they are. I can change the look of them, all of that kind of stuff. Something else I can do with this transcript. So let me go back over to the transcript, click these three little dots here, and I can export it. So there's a couple options. I can export the transcript as a, um, yeah, transcript file, the da, da 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 And this is that say I want to like just have that transcript and then I can maybe uh, attach it to a video if I've already exported this and put it in YouTube, for example. I can now upload that transcript into YouTube as a transcript versus using their um, transcription service. Another one I like is this export to text file. So it's just gonna create a text file and let's just name it and save. Now, if I go to my desktop and look at that, look at that, nice little spaces, nice text. I can then take this, throw it into a Word document or a blog post or whatever I wanna put it in, go through, rewrite it a little bit if I need to, um, because there's certainly gonna be some errors. I can see one right here, anyone with coronavirus E, okay, whatever. Uh, will need to be corrected, but this is a hell of a lot better than transcribing this from the scratch. Plus, if you're already paying for the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, now you're not necessarily gonna have to pay for an, a separate transcription service. So a nice feature, especially considering that this is the beta of it, uh, which means, of course, when they go to the public release, it's gonna only be better. All right, if you have access to it, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think in a comment below.